Hello my dear little students how are you all a very happy happy and cheerful morning to all of you i hope you all are fine and taking good care of your health so are you ready for your social studies class see you remember in the last video lesson we had started with the chapter number 5 the southern plateau remember and today we'll continue with our next topic part 3 and our today's topic is the central highlands that means today we will study about central highlands so come on take out your textbooks and mark important lines with me the southern plateau we will revise in short we had discussed what is a plateau and it is a raised stretch of a land that is flat at the top and plateau is also known as table land then we studied about the southern plateau and where it lies okay so i hope you remember that southern plateau lies towards the south of the narmada then we had studied about the nilgiri hills and southern plateau is surrounded by which hills in the which direction so today we'll start with a new topic See, we had also discussed that Jog Falls is one of the highest waterfalls in India. From here, we have to continue. So, Narmada divides the huge plateau region into two parts. You have to remember that Narmada divides the huge plateau region into two parts. First, Central Highlands. Where is Central Highlands? In the north, and Deccan Plateau in the south. which two parts you have to remember central highlands in the north and deccan plateau in the south so before moving towards central highlands you have to do this mcqs southern plateau lies to the south of river you remember it lies to the south of the river you have to do this by yourself okay then The Central Highlands are surrounded by the Aravalli Hills in the northwest, the Vindhya Range in the south, and the Chota Nagpur Plateau in the east. How many directions you have to remember? Three: northwest, south, and east. Northwest में क्या है? Aravalli Hills, and in the south is Vindhya Range. and in the east is chota nagpur so in the first point you have to remember three different directions and what is located there second point the malwa plateau lies in the center learn point wise first three directions then what lies in the center so the malwa plateau okay remember The Satpura Range lies in between the Narmada and Tapi River. Which range lies in between the Narmada and Tapi River? Remember, it is the Satpura Range. So, in first paragraph, we studied three points. Remember that. Then, the Central Highlands are drained by many rivers. that means the central highland has the flow of many rivers some of them like chambal betwa and san repeat after me some of them like chambal betwa and san join the ganga and yamuna river from the south see some of them like chambal betwa and san they join which two rivers ganga and yamuna from the south easy to learn moving towards the third paragraph this region is rich in black soil this region is famous for black soil it is it has rich that means it is very rich in black soil and black soil is good for the growth of you have to remember that black soil is good for growing cotton and sugar cane then the chota nagpur plateau includes jharkhand northern odisha and north eastern chatisgarh 
the chota nagpur plateau we studied about chota nagpur plateau which is in the east so it includes jharkhand northern odisha and north eastern chatisgarh three places you have to remember jharkhand northern odisha and north eastern chatisgarh this entire region is rich in valuable minerals this region is rich in valuable minerals you have to remember the names of five minerals children see coal iron manganese bauxite and mica again this entire region is rich in valuable minerals which minerals coal iron manganese bauxite and mica the mines are located in jharia giridi bokaro and rani ganj the mines where are the mines located jharia giridi bokaro and rani ganj so i hope you have marked all the points and learned the answer point wise okay first it is surrounded by aravalli hills and three directions you have to remember in the second point you have to remember what lies in the center in the third point you have to remember satpura range point and then about the rivers then about the black soil and then about the chota nagpur plateau okay so now i have a small worksheet for you which you will solve in your notebook see first question in which two parts narmada river divides the huge plateau region if you have listened the video carefully you might be knowing the answer second the central highlands are surrounded by dash hills in the northwest you remember which hills very good the dash range lies between the narmada and tapi river between narmada and tapi river lies which range you have to think and answer correctly fourth black soil is good for growing dash and dash we studied black soil is good for growing so think and answer for which minerals is the chota nagpur plateau famous for we studied the names of five minerals you have to mention them so one line answer or one word answer do it in your notebook itself okay take care god bless you keep smiling